Hello everyone, today let's talk about arc length, which is part of the AP Calculus BC curriculum. So something about arc length is that we can have a lot of graphs in math, but sometimes we just want to calculate like how long is the line and we just kind of want to stretch it out and try to find that length. What we find out is that when we zoom into a graph, um, so that it's we zoom in lar large enough, we see that the curves will like approach to be linear. So when the we have an infinitesimally um small length of an arc, let's just say it's ds, we say it's we can see that it's almost linear. So how you may be asking, how does this relate to us finding the arc length? Well, we can add up all of these. Um, ds together. So if we have ds, which is zoomed in enough so it looks to be linear, we can break it down into a dy and dx so that they are like these components that are parallel to the x and y axis. And then we can just use the Pythagoras theorem because y and x are perpendicular to each other. So if we have ds squared is equal to dx squared plus dy squared, ds is equal to the square root of dx squared plus dy squared. And what we want to do to find the arc length at L, we just need to, um, it's just an infinite summation of the each of the delta s or each of each of these small ds and in the terms of integral we can just represent it as from a to b of ds where ds are the bounds so now in in this expression we see that it doesn't really look like something that can be easily integrated so we can just take out a factor of dx squared. So it becomes one plus dy over dx squared. So we can then take the dx out of the integrand, so the, the square root, so it becomes one plus dy over dx squared times dx. So L is equal to the integral of 1 plus dy dx d with respect to x from a to b if the derivative is continuous over a and b. And it's just not limited to the x-axis. In a similar vein, we can take out the y. So we can take out the dy squared, 1 plus dx over dy. So then the length will be c to d, uh, 1 plus dx over dy squared with respect to y. So both of these work, it just depends to which axis are you integrating with respect to. So now we can try out a question, determine the length of the arc y is equal to 6 plus x to the power of 3 over 2. And we notice that the bound is 118, uh, 9 is smaller than or equal to y is smaller than or equal to 875. So in this question, we actually have to integrate it with respect to y. So we just, um, in our previous formula, the length is equal to c to the uh, 1 plus dx dy squared with respect to y. So c is equal to 189, d is equal to 875. And then we can find dx over dy. And dx over dy is just 1 over dy over dx. So we can find dy over dx. We just differentiate it, so 7 is just a constant, and then times 3 over 2. And then 
6 plus x to the 1 over 2. So that was it. So we just, so we can write that as 21 over 2 times 6 plus x. So dx over dy is just 1 over that. 2 over 21. So we can just find this and then square it, put it inside here and try to, uh, and then take the square root and then we can integrate it. Alternatively, an easier method is to just find the bounds in terms of x. So like if you have, if you have 189 is equal to y, which is equal to 7, 6 plus x to the 3 over 2. We can just divide 7 by both sides. So 9 is equal to 6 plus x, x is equal to 3. And then similarly for 875, we can divide it by 7 raise it to the power of 2 over 3 minus 6 x is equal to 19 then we can just integrate it the length is equal to a to b 1 plus uh, 21 square 21 over 2 squared is 4 4 1 over 4 6 plus x dx and then we just uh, expand it so six six two point five plus okay an easier method is to just Take out the factor. Yeah, so inter integration is not within the scope of this video, so you, you can uh, find out the length as your own exercise, and we can just do another multiple choice. So uh, this is an AP style question and we need to find the length of the path that's given by the parametric equations. X of t is equal to two plus three t and then y of t is equal to one plus t squared. So for parametric equations, similarly, we just want to find dy and dx. We know that if y, y of t is equal to something, then dy is equal to dy over dt times dt. This is just chain rule. dx is equal to dx over dt times dt. And if the length is equal to from t to t, um, dx squared plus dy squared, it's going to be equal to dy over uh, dx over dt times dt squared plus dy over dt times dt squared. And we will find that this expression will be equal to dy over dt squared plus dx over dt squared with respect to t if we take out the common factor of dt squared. So for this question, we will find out that dx over dt is equal to 3, and then dy over dt is equal to 2t. So if we just put them back into the equation, ta will be 1, uh, t, t, t will be 0, sorry. 
and TA, TB will be 1, and then we'll find the dy over dt is 2t, so 2t squared plus 9. with respect to t, which is, after expanding, which is 4t squared plus 9 dt, and we'll find out the answer is d. So this is it for arc length. I hope you uh, found it interesting. If you have any comments, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.